Hello and welcome to another five minute drawing lesson. Today we're going to do the Beast of Turin. Uh, as always, try to draw lightly and try to move your whole arm rather than doing these short furry lines. You want nice smooth arcs and continuous lines. Um, like that. So, first thing, let's have a sheet of paper and draw a wheel. Then two wheels further back, draw another wheel. And now we're going to measure one further wheel space behind that wheel. That's going to be the very tip of our tail. So we need a line now for the chassis which runs just above the centres of the wheels from here all the way back to this end point. And now the front of the car is going to be just behind the middle of the front wheel. And the radiator is going to be just at the back edge of the front wheel as well. The vertical line. And for the height of the car, we're going to measure one wheel up, just slightly less than that. And make an arc. And from that point, we can go horizontally back. Got the top of our car. We need another vertical line just in front of the back edge of the back wheel there and the part where the driver sits needs to be carved out here and notice how the back edge is slightly lower than the front edge. Now we need a nice arc going from here to the tip of our tail. Something like that. Now the under tray, it's very low the bottom of the car, runs underneath, comes down slightly at the front and then tapers off to the tail. So we've hopefully now got something approaching the proportions of the Beast of Turin and uh, we can start putting in the details. Let's have a look, first we need to divide a line between halfway between this line and this line, another vertical. That's our bonnet. And the bonnet has a hinge. And two exhausts. And under the exhausts, a row of louvers. So I do pairs of parallel lines, and then a little darker diagonal underneath. Do the tops as well if you want. And then we have rivets down the joins. Piece up there. And a chain drive. And the chassis is two, should be two lines like that. There's a, oops, a wide piece of metal, maybe a join there. And a filler cap for the radiator. And so it doesn't look like a cutout, we'll show a bit the wheels on the far side. You can't see much of them. And now at this point, you can either decide to have a parked car and draw the ground and the shadow underneath like we did with the Land Rover. Forget the steering wheel. Or, uh, like I'm going to do, uh, you could add a driver and some action. So, a bit of dust, the shadow. Actually, flying through the air slightly because it's going so fast. A few bits of dust, not too many. A few scratches and bits of dust on the car. These are quite useful because they they tell the viewer that this is a solid piece and this is as opposed to this bit, which is just air. Uh, what else do we need? Yeah, driver. The tricky thing is not to make the driver too big. It's a, it's a big car. If you make the driver too big, it'll end up just looking small. The scarf, which 
is always a bad idea in a car with a chain. And maybe some smoke, steam, fire. Some whiz lines on the wheels. I think I'll thicken those wheels up. And there we have it, a beast of Turin. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you did and uh, in the comments and I'll do some more.